Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I have a an idea that I just thought up, a circuit for a balanced antenna tuner, that is a, a tuner for balanced antenna systems uh, that you can connect to your radio or that uh, I that you might try in any case. Uh, it stems from the original half wave long wire or half wave wire antenna design uh, that I uh, devised when I was working at ARRL headquarters. And what it basically is is a tuned circuit a tuned tank circuit like this a roller inductor and a variable capacitor just like that and this would be the input to the radio right here the coaxial cable would would go to the uh, rollable the, the little roller on the roller inductor and then you'd turn it around and adjust that to get variable in um, to get a variable position for your tap you'd adjust the capacitor for resonance at the operating frequency and originally I intended for this to be a half a wavelength because it presents such a high impedance purely resistive at the feed point or at the end of the half wavelength wire that most antenna tuners just can't deal with it. It can be on the order of hundreds even thousands of ohms oftentimes a couple of thousand ohms and when I built this antenna tuner the coax center going right there uh, and uh, just as you see it here, the long wire here, it was that simple. And I found that I could get a perfect match this way by adjusting the tap. When you adjust this to resonance, you get, uh, by varying the position of the tap, you can vary the resistance, purely resistive and in every case, the impedance that you get at the radio from zero down at the bottom to whatever this is, a couple of thousand ohms at the top, so it would be a near the bottom of the coil, like that. Okay, well and good. I discovered that this antenna tuner would actually work with any length of wire, not just um, a half wavelength wire. I thought my eraser would work there, but it apparently won't. <laughs> I found that this would work with any length of wire. And in fact, I found that I could tune uh, this into nothing at all. That, that if I had nothing connected to this at all, I could still get a one-to-one -one match. And I thought that was just hilarious because if you put any power into it, into a circuit like this, it's going to arc across this capacitor, which it did, and heat up this coil, and you, you're going to have, in effect, a uh, very noisy, spectacular, and erratic dummy load. <laughs> but, but this, I found, is an amazingly um, wide-ranging, single-ended an antenna tuner. But I, I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be cool if you were to build two of these side by side? Just like this. And that's chassis ground, so they're actually connected together. Variable capacitor like this. Same value, maybe 200 picofarads. It's a, a transmitting variable with one of those old-fashioned great big things that you'll find probably most likely at a flea market. Suppose that you were to make two identical 
antennas like this. This length here is L. Two antennas and two tuners, absolute copies of each other. Suppose then that you were to gang these capacitors so that they always had the same capacitance, identical capacitances, wherever you turned the shaft. Uh, a ganged, you could do that with gears, or you could do it with a, a two-part uh, ganged capacitor. You can sometimes find those. Uh, just have to kind of shop around at a flea market, I guess. Go to a lot of conventions. Roller inductors, same thing. Just shop around. I don't really know where to find one of these things anymore, uh, except that it, they're all over the place, okay? Now, suppose that you ganged these somehow, too, with gears, so that these taps were always at the same position on each coil. I guess you might indicate ganged roller inductors like that. Now you've got two identical antenna tuners, two identical random wire antennas, two identical feed points like that. Why, what am I thinking of here? Well, suppose now that you took these two inputs and fed them to the output of a one-to-one -one ballon with the balanced part here, one-to-one -one ballon. Then, 50 ohm coax to your radio. Fifty ohm coax. What do you have now? If you tune this, both of these, you've got a pair of antennas. Say you run them off at an angle with respect to each other, so that you have a, a kind of a bent dipole. Uh, each side has to be exactly the same length. These tuners are always tuned to the exact same place. So you tune two wires together to get an impedance at the, the output of your ballon of 50 ohms. Balanced. You'll always be able to do that with a tuner like this because as I said I, I found you could tune any length of wire, even no wire at all. You could tune a, a, a light bulb connected to ground. You could tune anything you wanted. And then, suppose that instead of just two wires like this, you ran a length of ladder line and then split it off into two wires of equal length. You have a two-sided antenna, some of which can be folded up into ladder line. That's really what an open wire fed antenna is, is just two wires that run alongside each other for a while and then split off into opposite directions length L on each side maybe length M for the feed line so that then here you really have L plus M L plus M this is just a variation of that you have a balanced, a truly balanced antenna tuner. And you have a super wide range truly balanced antenna tuner. Now maybe this circuit already exists and maybe somebody actually manufactures such a thing. But in any case, I'm not going to claim credit for it. 
but I am going to put my name down on the right so that the whole screen is nice and full and you know how to spell my last name, Stan Gibalisco, proprietor and operator of W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73 and so long, which into this antenna tuner or any other antenna tuner you might use in my favorite mode would always translate to da 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 da